Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. This video is about making a simple car racing game with Scratch. Okay, so to make a car racing game, you're going to need a race course for the car to race on. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and press the trash can on this Scratch Cat and that will um, eliminate him from existence and now we have to make a backdrop so to make our course we are going to use make a backdrop using the scratch backdrop editor to use this we're going to go to paint now you see now we're on this backdrop here now we're going to choose a color for our grass background let's go with this color maybe a little bit lighter here this is going to be the color that we use for our grass backdrop of the course. You can use any color you want for your grass. So we're going to make a box with no outline. So make sure you guys select no outline in that outline area. And you make a box as big as you can. And you might see there's little white edges. You want to make sure you eliminate them by just grabbing on the edges and making it as big as you possibly can. And okay, so now it just looks like the grass fields, I guess. We want to add like track. So, what are we going to make the track out of? I guess like a gray because it's sort of like, it's like a road or a path. Then you can move, we can stay in the exact same color, just move the saturation down to zero in that field color. Now you want to move up this up to 100 on your paintbrush tool. Once, if you've done that, then you'll be able to make a course. Let's start in the middle, and that's where the start and finish line will be. Then we go around the first turn. And then we go up and back. Now, at the moment, this course is quite thin for a car racing course, saying how big our car is going to be. So let's just make it a bit bigger. And if we just keep tracing it around there, that should be good. So now we've got a very big car racing course. Now we can edit how this course is. You see all these little vertexes there, they're crazy. Well, all you have to do is do this. Really, and make it as big or as small as you want. We're going to put in a decent size and move it around to the middle. So, we're trying, now we're going to make our finish line because you don't want them to just drive around and just keep driving around without a finish line so let's make our finish line right here okay so that's our finish line line so now we've got our finish line there now we can work on our car sprite we're going to choose a sprite and now we're going to paint the sprite so we are going to go so if we've got a very similar um, layout here as the backdrops creator now it depends on what color you want your car to be is what colors you use here we recommend pressing the no outline so you don't have an outline around the side of your car I'm going to make my car bright red okay so let's go we recommend pressing the zoom button two times so you can see this center block here. Okay, so let's just make a rectangle. Okay, so we've made a little rectangle and now we can go in and fill and go to brightness and center all the way down. This will make the color plain black we're going to use this for the wheels of our car now we go like that these will be like that now once we've done this you can go over to here the mouse pointer 
and copy and paste. So now you've got a second wheel. You can move up into this spot and copy and paste. So now you've got another wheel that you can move across. They'll all be the same length. Then you can paste again. And you've got your fourth and final wheel for your car. So once you've got them in place, which can be very tricky, now your car's sort of getting along. It's sort of looking good, sort of looking interesting. What you could do is you could go and small on all the wheels or you could small on the body. But what we're going to do to make it look more car-like is we're going to add circle headlights. Move up the brightness back up for this one and move over that colour and move it to around the 17 mark on that on this colour thing here and we are going to add little headlights okay now again we can go over the mouse cursor copy and paste let's move them to where they need to be If we make a mistake, you can always press Control Z or Command Z, depending on whether you are on a Windows or Mac computer. So if we press that, then our headlights are back where do that, and that undoes a mistake we've made. Okay, so now we are going to. It still doesn't look perfectly car-like. So let's make a second box that looks just a little bit darker than the original red box. So we can take this back down to 100, then take the brightness down to 85. And we've got a little bit darker box here for us to see like here and there we go. So now we've made our car. Now we want to make the size of the car that works with the size of your track. So let's see what size we want to make our car. You go down there to the where my cursor is, the size, and you type in what size. Let's go to 50. That's very small. What about 75? That's a bit better. Let's just take it down to 70. Okay, so that is going to be the size of our car. So now let's move over to the code for our car. Okay, so at the moment, our car doesn't have any code. We want to make it so it goes on the cords, it can drive it around, can turn, and if it's touching the grass, it will slow down. If it touches the finish line, we will celebrate and you finish the game. So what we are going to start with is we are going over to the events tab and go when flag clicked. That means when you click this flag, this code under here will happen. So we are going to point in the direction that we want to point in. So let's have a look go over to our motion and let's look in this point in direction block. We will edit this after. Now we want to go to X and Y. Now once we've gone to the X and Y, let's drag our car to where we want it to start, which is just in front of the line. This is minus one X, 105 Y. This will be different depending on how you designed your course. Now, pointing 90 degrees might work for you, so we can leave it as that. It works for us. Okay, so now we're going to go and start a new line that says when space key clicked and change this down to when right arrow clicked. It says motion turn 15 
degrees that way. And we'll do the exact same thing. So when the left arrow is clicked, it'll turn 15 degrees the other way. So let's have a look at what we've got at the moment of the game. You can spin around in circles. We're getting there. Okay, so let's stop the game using the red stop button. So now we are going to go back to this line of code here. Now we're going to grab a forever block. This will make sure that what's happening here happens forever. So we are now going to grab an if then else block. And in that if and else block, then we're going to have if touching color. We're going to make it so if it's touching, if the car is touching the road, then it will work. Then it will, if the car is touching the road, it will drive very faster than if it's touching the grass. So let's move and get this eyedropper and use that. Okay, so that is the color of our road. Then we go to motion and move steps and edit it to two. In the else statement, we're also going to grab an if else, but change it to 0 0.5. So now we have a pretty good, pretty well functioning game of just driving a car around in loops. Which isn't really a car racing game. We want to make it so if we get to the finishing line, it gives us like a little screen that says winner and, and it and we can celebrate by just spinning all around. So we are going to go to our control and get another if then statement. This one is going to have if touching color and we are going to get the color of the finish line which is pretty black which is this color it's any color and zero now we are going to make it so it repeats we go back to control and repeat 40 move two steps this means it will move some steps and then you can stop and it will say the winner and you turn around. So to make it say moved in and to make it say winner and then stop the driving, you can make it you can go around to looks and then say so you put this under the if touching oh you put this in that if touching there but not in the repeat you see there and say winner I can't spell it for how long five seconds but we want it to stop driving when we get so we scroll down to control and get a stop all block. If touching the color black. So now we should have a fully functioning game. So you make turns. If you go onto the grass, you start moving slower. Let's move back onto the course. You start moving faster again. And just keep driving and once we get to the finish line, let's see what happens. Let's see if our code has worked. Winner! You can celebrate by just spinning around. You don't drive anymore, but you can still spin around. Thank you for watching Splotch Code.